Hey guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting during to episode 23 of season 2 of Fruits Basket. So let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, go. <laughs> okay, no opening today. Yeah, you don't want to bump into someone. <laughs> well, that's <laughs> rubbing for you. Just different. We gotta pray that any scene that comes up, I am not drinking so that I spit anything out. <laughs> I know. No, you're going to the ball.
You know, maybe Cinderella's dress should have been black. It looks much prettier, I'm just saying. Oh, baby. Oh, my God, my baby. Or maybe you didn't even get to eat. You idiot, you have to go. Oh. 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 I don't know.
this is not Pasil, but I love it so much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh Jesus <laughs> Plus, he had a right to be here. You're technically his son, I mean, but still. She could be walking around somewhere. Yeah. See, everybody's true feelings just came out during this play. I mean, it. Come on now. <sighs> Not as cute as you, honey. <laughs> mm -hmm. It's obvious.
Iya. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> oh, Speaking of which, where are those two? Where's my chain? Yeah. Mm -mm. Machi needs to fight her own battle. Oh, Monty. But it's the truth. You three just don't see it. You're so blinded by love. Speaking of which, yeah, because I think in a way she sees you as a normal person and not as this, like, a guy that we put on a pedestal, you know.
What's up? Just for now. My heart right now. Oh my god. Okay. Cinderella ish. 10 out of 10 would recommend. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Hanajima was the best gothic Cinderella ever. I'm sorry. <laughs> Just take out Cinderella from Disney and put it on a Jima Cinderella. Best girl right there, best damn princess, I'm sorry. But, uh, like, going to Kyo and Toru and them not, like, they, they know what they truly want, but they're not just ready to say it. It's gonna happen. They're gonna, you know, go with their feelings, but it's not time yet. We're, like, we there, but it's a little bit more, but, oh my god. But I do love the fact that, you know, Machi was able to tell how she truly feels about Yuki and that he was able to overhear it. It's just, in my opinion, as I said in the episode, I don't think she sees him as this prince, this kid that everyone puts on a pedestal, almost celebrity-esque like, because, oh my god, he's so pretty and everything. Yes, I get it. Yuki is a very pretty boy. I mean, come on, we all love him. But she sees him as a regular person and not, you know, Oh, hey, that's Prince Yuki. Just Yuki, you know, airhead baby boy Yuki who is so precious and lonely. And, and even with the girl saying, like, well, how do you know? Da, da, da. And it's like, oh, my God, you think you're so, uh, like, oblivious to this because you and your fan club are so in love and head over heels over Yuki that you only see the facade you've made of Yuki, this princely mask that he has on but when he takes it off specifically when he is around toru and a couple of other characters he shows his real true feelings as a real person so i mean come on it, it, it's just there, there are some girls <laughs> speaking as a girl myself because i have also been there myself where i have followed head over heels over someone because they've had a, had a mask on and then eventually you get to see their true feelings and you're like can i still fall in love with this person now knowing what they are. Sometimes it's a yes and sometimes it's a no. You never really know. But mm, you can't always be fooled by something. Don't always snoop. Okay. Just you snoop if you have to. But only if like it's necessary. But still. This is a good episode. The play. <laughs> Cinderella-ish. Like I can't. But then let's also talk about. You know the situation of Hiro. And you know saying that ish about. My best girl Rin. And you know <laughs> Like, baby, I saw her, like, mm, okay, you like Red too. But, like, no, no, that's not it. He's not supposed to know that you two are dating. And then Toru slowly but surely figuring it out. But, you know, an abrupt. <laughs> my God, it's so complicated. But, like, the, the, all the secrets, this family, oh, my God. It, it's just, it's going to come out like one big giant explosion. And it's just going to be, like, a secret after secret after secret after secret. I don't really remember. But, um... Oh, God. I mean, mm -hmm. how many more episodes we got? I think this is 23, right? We got, I think it's, I think this is supposed to be a 26 episode season. So we got like three more weeks left with this show. And I don't really remember how they're going to, like, where chapter wise we're on and how many more chapters we're going to go through. But hell, they, they might even end this season on a cliffhanger kind of as well. I mean, they did it for season one, introducing Rin. So, they gotta kind of do it for season two, going into the final season to, like, just, you know, hey, you gotta wait until next year to find out what all has happened, or you can be like the rest of us. Just reread the manga, or read the manga if you haven't, I'm just saying. But, you know, hey, it's up to you. Other than that, guys, that is my reaction to you towards episode 23 of season two of Fruits Basket. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day. Join the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for episode 24. Bye, guys!